감사합니다. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day two of my Chengdu vlog. If you haven't already, go check out part one. We had a great day yesterday and the weather is beautiful, the, but the fall vibes here are great. Chengju is an area in Korea that's a little less discovered, I think, but there's actually so much culture here. So we're gonna be spending it today going to a few more fun places and I'm really excited to bring you guys along. Anyways, we're about to head out. It is about 11 a.m. and I'll see you guys at our first destination. All right, guys, we just made it to the fortress. And look at these colors. Okay, so we just made it to the top of the hill. I wanna show you guys. So obviously it's beautiful over here, but look, I love the, like the stone brick. I wonder how old this is, let's go see. And what's nice is all of these historic landmarks, there's always something written in English. All right, we're walking back down. I know it's super bright, you guys probably can't see, but you have, oh look at the, um, the plants. You guys have to come here. It is so pretty and we just got the coolest pictures in the fortress. There's like this ceiling. Beautiful. But anyways, we're heading back down and we'll see you at our next stop. We are walking on our way to a printing museum, but we found a really beautiful it's like a, a a river type of thing. So we're gonna just go explore, but I wanna show you guys how pretty these fall vibes are here. So peaceful. All right, so when I was doing research on Chengju, one place that everyone says you should come to is the Chengju Early Printing Museum. So we just arrived. Okay, so I got my pamphlet. So this is the Chengju Early Printing Museum. It's the only museum specialized in early printing in Korea. And it was built on this temple site um, and it's been maintained for a really long time. And this place has been making every effort for research, education, and training and promotion of the early printing culture achieved by the Korean ancestors. Cool, let's explore. This is what it looks like on the outside. You know what guys, I took a calligraphy class in high school and it was one of my favorite classes. It's so beautiful. Engraved? Yeah, all those things. Because back then they didn't have like, they didn't have pencil or something. So here's a really long timeline of printing the Korean language dating back to 1372. 
This museum opened in 1992. These are from 1340. That's insane. Old fashioned ID. Where are you? Why is it just me? <laughs> Alright, so we just finished up at the printing museum. Look at how cool this light up Chinese character wall is. Anyways, if you guys have seen our travel vlogs, you would know that whenever we go somewhere, we really like to support a small business, like with some kind of crafting thing. So in Jeonju, we made our rings. And there's actually a hand crafting soap place. So we're gonna go check it out and see if they're open and hopefully we can make some soaps. These are Sharon's and these are mine's. Mm. Oh, this is the front side. Be careful. So excited about these. So soap making was a total blast. Like so glad we went there and it just feels good to support a small business when you go to a random city. She's been there for four years. She's really sweet and even if you can't speak Korean, I'm sure you'll be fine there because the process of making the soap is actually very basic. But anyways, we are now at Yojamang 
Which means girls only. <laughs> but I, I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, it's just like a name. Um, and we ordered hei mojin, which is a dish that has a ton of different seafood. So yeah, it's about dinner time. And this is the last thing we're gonna do before we head home. So I'm excited to eat a really good dinner. You remember I did a vlog in Busan a while ago and I ate the same thing and I've been thinking about it ever since. And then we have jeon, egg, japchae, <laughs> and we're waiting on our rice. our dinner which means it's time to go home we're going back to Busan we're gonna take the train this time so that concludes day two of the Chengdu vlog I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what was your favorite part out of both vlogs if you didn't see part one I will have it linked below let me know in the comments where you want me to go to next that's about it I love you and I'll see you very soon in my next video bye guys